Hi, I'm Shane, and today we're going to show you how to assemble your new H crate. Uh, we'll start off with the top section. Uh, you'll be using four H rail sections. Uh, the best way to start is to install two long and one short rail sections. So we're going to line up the flat with the flying H on top here and push it in firmly. And then we're going to do one short. So now we have three sides. We're going to build the other side. Once you get the two parts assembled, you can lay this down and use the table or whatever your workspace is to line up all four sections. Give them a nice hard push in. You may need to Use the table as leverage to push down. And then we can begin installing the walls. So now that you've got your four corners assembled, you'll notice there's two sized walls, uh, two of each. And so you'll start by aligning the walls into the slots. Um, and just push them in. There are small alignment tabs at the bottoms to keep them aligned. And just press in firmly. And they should slide right in. Now you're ready to assemble the bottom. The bottom is pretty simple, just aligns. Uh, with the corners and the sides. Now you may need to push the side tabs in to get the bottom cleared past them and help it align. And then once you've done that, you can begin installing the screws. There are two different types of screws with the kit. Um, the self tappers we'll use for later. And these are plastic screws that go into the bottom. You can see each bottom has two screw holes on it. Once you've installed the bottom, you want to make sure the reinforcement tabs are clicked in. So you'll flip the crate over, support it with your hand, and push from the inside and click in the support tab in the center of each part. Uh, the final step is an optional step if you're not going to be taking it apart and traveling much. Uh, would be to take the self-tapping screws and a drill and on each corner there are holes and the self-tappers will go through the aluminum and hold tightly. So when installing your H-crate into the boat, I like to actually push it all the way back on a Revo 11 until it's just in front of the rear hatch. Uh, another tip would be when you are connecting the clip in behind the bungee, a light tug on the bungee will actually allow the strap to clear easier. When installing the crate, I like to turn the pad eye 90 degrees to make it easier to install the clip. Now that you've clipped the H crate into place, tighten the straps, starting at the back first. And one more tip, 
I like to take the bungee in the tank well, hook it up to the crate, and then pass it through. create extra tackle security. Securing your rod using the integrated bungee system is simple. Simply pull up on the tab, pull it down, and insert the line through the slot. Works equally well for spinning reels.